Hey there, YouTube. I got a uh, a little thing come through the post today. It's a um, now this is a uh, it's a buck converter, and at the same time it's a boost converter. Okay. And I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, now I've seen them on eBay uh, between nine and ten pound these, but I opted for the one with this. I'm not going to turn it over to show you just at the minute, but underneath here is a aluminium slab heatsink. Uh, not this. I've just put it on top of this. Just forget about this. But here you can see there's a heatsink. Um, And it works quite well. I've not a few minutes ago. I had it up on 12 volts. Um, as well. I was drawing. I was drawing 61.2 volt uh, watts, basically. Uh, and it wasn't really getting warm. Uh, there was a little bit of heat off the inductor. Uh, you know, it was a little bit warm, but not not warm. Not anything that you'd be worried about or anything like that. Uh, but when I sort of uh, messaged um, a sort of YouTube poll and uh, talked about this and said that like, because there's one volt this is switched all the way down I can't turn it down any further on this pot and there's around you know there's nearly a volt there and depending on the load I suppose I've got a very low ohmage this at the moment this is set on what would be high beam and it's around between 200 and 300 milliohms uh, the resistance through it, so it's not a great deal. But look, at less than a volt is 1.2 amps. Now that equates to about 1.1 watts, which isn't a great deal. And you know, as you'd expect, it's got a 12 volt input. By the way, I've just, um, you know, I've just done the old uh, PC power supply trick. I've just bypassed the sense switch so it turns on and I've not, you know, done all the wires. I've just I've just got two here. Twelve volt um, and the negative on my input and on the input there I've just connected up the um, display and the working side of the reason why I put the resistors is I don't like these as bright as what they would be without the resistor a little bit more bright and glary but I like these sort of dim and I prefer these to the red to red ones as well one because when you put more than 37 volts into it it will just go blank and then come back and two and I think this is more important it doesn't flash like when I'm looking through it on the video it doesn't flash so yeah quite like these I've ordered another one you know I killed the red one and I'm not even going to bother trying to fix it to be fair I'm only like two pounds to buy them two pound eleven is what I've paid for another one of these I might buy another couple anyway I digress so yeah this little this little thing so uh, so I bought it eleven pound twenty nine it cost me in actual fact look hold up okay you can see that good yeah and if I just Get my keyboard. Sorry, my keyboard's down here. In this drawer. Uh, let me just come across here. I've lost a bit on my keyboard to work it, so I'm gonna have to just pull it down on there and click that. And see, there's the um, that's the aluminium piece underneath. There's a heat sink, and that's what's underneath when I've got the, the, the cheaper ones I've seen um, don't actually have that there. So on these, um, I don't know if they're MOSFETs or transistors, but on these, uh, on this H, I think this is H bridge, uh, they got like a heat sink here and a heat sink here, just small ones. I opted for the bigger one on the back. <laughs> Come on, when it comes to this stuff, it's, uh, you just want to dissipate as much heat as you possibly can, don't you? I mean, that's why I just like chucked it on here as well, because I didn't know how it was gonna, how it was gonna be at 12 volts with this, this type of load. Because I'm sort of like, you know, pushing it. Apparently, you can go 10 amps with this, but what, 10 amps at 30 volts? Well, that's like 300 watts. So uh, come on. Really, that's not going to dissipate that very well. I don't 
care how good this is supposed to be. This little tiny heat sink, 300 watts. Get out of here. So, see, and the reason why I decided to buy it was because, well, it's got, like I say, I mean, okay, with this load, that's not very good. You know, I mean, you could turn your ampage down and sort of that would probably drop out. So, look. Oh no, that's, that's that's all the way down. And that's all the way down, you can hear it clicking. So that load, that's it, I mean that's 1.2, but that's 0.9 volts. But still, hmm. I mean you could drop that down a bit more, it would be quite easy enough to um, stick a diode on here. But if you are going to be drawing, you have to put a big fat diode on there. I had one on it earlier just so I could drop it down, you know, sort of 400 uh, millivolt. Uh, and that was about a 3 amp diode, it could have been a 5 amp diode, but that's not really going to be big enough. Uh, I do have a couple of blocking diodes that I had before I got my charge controller uh, for my solar panel. i put one of those on there, that would drop it down a bit, of course, that would reduce this down as well. I don't know if I try that, I'll have a look at that in a second. But yeah, another good thing about it here, we've got a fuse. So if it blows the fuse in input, input protection, if you were going to charge a battery with this, you'd have to put a diode on here as well, just so you know when it stops charging, whether the, the, the battery gets the voltage, you don't start trying to push it voltage back. But this was going to be part of a power supply thing. Uh, like I say, what I like is look at the minute it's a buck converter because we've got 12 volts going in and we've got like less than a volt coming out. There's a book converter, and if I start turning it up, I'll have to turn the current up a little bit, otherwise, I'm not going to get over the voltage. I'll just get a good few turns so we don't get restricted on that. It is constant current, constant voltage, so you can adjust it. This is why I start turning this up, look, and there we go. There we go, and it's going to get bright, so hopefully, the camera will uh, compensate. Turn it to 12 volt and just see if we can still see that's a like good old time with that light, isn't it? Yeah, let me just turn that down. I'm just gonna these wires are just poked in the holes, by the way. It's typical me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find something, just pull in the way of that light so it's not so bright. I don't know if I'm not gonna find it. No. <laughs> Oh, I know what I got. I've got to be careful with this line because I got a load, of, a load of transistors in the back of this heatsink. I'm going to use this as a um, pass transistor um, array, I suppose you'd say, in parallel, three of them in parallel, for um, a 0 to sort of 60 volt linear power supply. Right, I'm going to put that like that. Let it fall over. It's only wobbly a bit because of the, um, the elastic band. So, let's go back here. I found my, my tool. This is a brilliant tool for turning these things. There we go, look. Uh, yeah. Let's take it to 12 volt. I'll put it on 12.8. I'll put it on 12.6 because that's what my battery would be on my. Uh, on my charger. So there, that's that's near enough 60 watts. That's more like 60 watts. I haven't got my calculator, but I'm guessing that's around about 60 watts. We've got 12.7 times 4.84. Like I say, it doesn't really get too warm, and I don't think the bulb is going to be able to take much more. I mean, it might be able to. It should be able to take at least a couple more volts. Just because if it was charging in the car, it'd probably get about 15 volts down to it. Or have you got any um, current restriction now? Yeah. We'll look at that look. 15 volts. Not going to take too bright. Uh, 
Alright, just show you. It does say on the um, uh, I have no idea what's. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, this camera really weirds me out sometimes. Hmm. So I'm going to sit again, what that's like. See, that's not really hot at all. It's a little bit warm, yeah, of course you can feel it. It's it's putting some power through there. Yeah, I'll put this all the way over there. Oh, I'll just pop that out of the way. And if I just pop you down there. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly... Uh, my battery's all there. Okay, thank you. So we've got 14.7 times 5.25 equals 77.175 I don't know if you can see that if it's going to be good enough to see that so and I'm pretty sure it says that if you run it like 80 because it's supposed to go to 130 but I can't, um, I can't take it back because I'll just break this bulb. Oh, I think I can see smoke coming anyway, but that could be a little bit. I mean, that is smoke. I'm just going to, um, I don't know if you can see. It could be the, um, it could be something to do with the, um, the flux. It's sat on a flux can, so I'm just going to current limit this down. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's down to like two amps or something. Oh, that's even dangerous. Two amps, I'm just going to keep down to an amp if I can. touching before in the actual bulb that's very very warm of course I'm not going to touch it at all but that's my uh, tin of flux so I, I saw just a little little bit of uh, <laughs> a little bit of smoke coming off that hmm that's not bad I'm quite impressed with this power supply as well it doesn't I can see this is going to come in quite handy and my other power supply as well because I'm going to put these into the booster uh, I've got two of these boosters and both of them I've managed to get for free and I'm going to tell you now that these these fellows who sell them, I've messaged a load of them to ask them about their same boosters uh, of course now I can see the wire on it but they're still trying to tell me you can adjust the current and I've tried to tell them that the um, pins aren't even connected on the adjust uh, potentiometer but they're not listening so this is my advice to anybody that listens to this right buy one buy one get it, complain that the adjust doesn't work, tell them that you're going to send it back, and do a return, and they won't pay for the postage back because it's as much as what it will cost them, it's just going to cost them twice, it will cost them for losing the product, it will cost them for the postage back, you get it for nothing, and it will teach them, because I've told them that they want to change it, they want to tell them it's non-adjustable, but they ain't listening, so you can get yourself a freebie, mm, it may not be, um, I don't know, I don't think that's going to stop you from getting into heaven. <laughs> I don't think that's what people are going to get judged for if they get judged. <laughs> anyway, I, I I I would I would buy another one. But I have been asking. I've asked about six or seven of them. Some of them get a little bit snotty when they're saying, "Just read the description." I go, "I have read the description," but so. Ah. Oh, I didn't take it up in voltage. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But we can't really take it up too high with that load on. I can turn it back off, but I'll have to take this load off and just show you that it can go up to like 30 volts. So it's um, like this is the 12 volt input, of course. Look, it's on 19 volts now. So, use this one for turning it up uh, on the voltage. Okay, so let's see what we get fully out of that. This is with a 12 volt input coming from this, uh, so you've got 28.3 with no load. Alright, there's no load on it. 
Oh, you could probably turn it up and down. Oh no, that won't make any difference, will it? Shouldn't make any difference. No, not going to make any difference. Now there's one here as well. This is voltage, under voltage. And... It's something to do with charging the batteries. I don't know, but look, see this? Now I've, I've turned the, over, the under voltage thing up a bit. And now this like error lights come on. I'm not fully understanding what this is all about. Because that one's still a good. It's still happy with that little blue light. But with this little... It says error on this light. So what that's all about, I don't know. But, so if I turn that up, you know, it goes up. And then if I turn it all the way down, you know, see if I can get to it clicks now. I don't think this one's a clicky one. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. So I can't tell you what that's all about. But still, one volt to the... Uh, like I said, if you put a diode going on the output, I suppose you'd have to adjust it. If you know what your load's going to be, um, and then put a diode there, and have like a meter, of course. Uh, after the diode, these would be connected to the out, the other side of the diode, so you get the measurement on that side of the diode, not this side. So otherwise, you'll have to compensate every time for the value of the the voltage drop of the diode. Uh, yeah, but it didn't get too warm at all. So if, you know, if you're thinking that I don't know what it'd be like without the other heat sink. And to be fair, the sat on here, it's going to help as well. It may not be compressed to it, but there's. You know, this is like a cold surface. So let's take this down as far as it'll go with my thing on. Yeah, so that 0.5, run about a volt. That's what it says on the spec, is a volt. Didn't really notice that, but I just wanted to see what it was like anyway. Still see it can come in handy quite a few things. It's got a constant voltage, constant current. And this uh, is to do with solar charging, but I won't use that. Because I've already got a controller for that sort of thing. Yeah, not bad. It works. Came through. It's not bad. Works using this to give it power. Like I say, you go down the voltage and you can go up the voltage on this, so it's a booster and a uh, butt converter. The name of it and stuff will be in the description. I'll put the link in the description for the one that I've got because it's the cheapest one I could find. Um, and for going after the bargains, you know, honestly, I find them even though you know, if you look at this and go, that's £11.29, and the other ones are only like just under a tenner. So, well, some of them, not all of them, are a lot more expensive. But they haven't got the big heat sink underneath, they've only got the two little ones here. And they are small because when you see how small this unit is, and you look at the heat sinks on the thing, and they sit in here, they're very small indeed, so they're not going to really. But they don't really get that warm. They weren't that warm, you know, when we were pulling that amount of current through 77 watts. Uh, power through 77 watts, sorry. But it was sat on here. That wasn't getting terribly warm either. It does get a little bit warm, but not. Never know. Little fuse. Pretty cool little fuse. I don't know if you can see that very well, because I can hardly see through the back of this camera. My eyes are shut. I need to get to the opticians. So, yeah, so I suppose if you've just got like, pretty much a dead short, you can pull. You can pull a lamp and let's see what happens. Dead short it 0.8. 0.8. So that's another good thing as well. And so you can, you know, with a volt there, you can short the output and it doesn't just pop it or anything. Because I just did that, I'll show you again. Maybe you can see all this, what I've just been doing. But, so you can just short. That's a nice little feature, isn't it? Anyway, if you know this is not a bad little unit, yeah, as we saw, it's got some um, it's got some short circuit protection. It can pull just the way it is. Uh, quite happily draw 77 watts uh, without getting particularly warm at all. It was a little bit warm, yeah, but nothing that you think, oh Jesus, you need bigger heat sink. Uh, nothing like that. You're quite happy to just leave your hand on there. Yeah. Uh, just to add to this look. Um, what I've done is I've put a couple of these diodes on 
Now, I'm on the right here. If this packet's marked correctly, these are six A10s. And they should have a 0.62 millivolt voltage drop, uh, 620 millivolt. I, I, could have, I could have marked the bag wrong. Basically, that's what it says on the bag there. But it should be marked up wrong. And now the difference now, look, is if I, before when we got like a small load, even just shorting it out, there was, uh, there was still voltage and there was also uh, amp, really an amp being drawn, but the difference now I've put those diodes on is if I short that out, look, we got nothing. And if I connect this load up again, this few hundred mini ohm uh, load, uh, this will show the same thing. It just it just drops to drops to zero. So there you go. There's a way of getting zero. Uh, I don't know what it's doing on the input side, power wise or anything like that. I've yet I've got to put a meter there. And you can have a meter in and a meter out and see what the difference is and everything. But I think I like to have to take the meter out of the power supply that I'm always taking the transformer out of or um, or wait for another one to come through in a week or so through the post. Probably take I'll probably take the other power supply apart. But I just thought I'd add that little bit there just to show you that if we do put a couple of those I think they're about like six or seven amps these diodes. Uh, no, my blocking diodes for I think I must have been drunk because I ordered way too many. And that's happened before when I've had a drink. I buy what I want and then forget that I bought them and buy them again from somewhere else. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought I'd add that. Because it does you know, half, half a volt. Just drops it down. Brilliant. Maybe if I uh, turn up the voltage. So 8, 12 volts there. Let's see what happens now then. Look, look. Short it down to 5 volts and 4.5 and amps. <laughs> they don't trip out though, it doesn't do anything. And towards little blue lights, the happy light, it's when the little red light comes on that's that is not happy. And I can turn the amp into one of the fire. Turn the voltage a little bit. Oh, let's just stick it on full. But at the end of the day someone will say, ah you're not nutty, you're gonna blow it up bro. This is how you find out maybe it is going to blow up. Never know, I'll see So we've got 27.4 now because you know we've got this uh, two diodes here. No load, they shouldn't be done anymore. Let's see what happens now. Let's short it up. Wow, so that actually drops it down lower. Because remember when it was on 9 volt, we got 4.5 volts at 4.5 amps. But at 27.5. Drops it all the way down to 3 volts, 3 amps. Ha! Huh, crazy. And the fault lights on, look, you see the red light? Take that off and the little blue light's back again. Blue light dims, red light comes on. Another problem on heat. Of course, that wouldn't be a problem anyway. There you go. Oh, I reckon that's alright. I reckon that's going to be useful. Just got to get these pots off and just put. Uh, yeah, and wires in so I can put other ones on so I can put it inside the case. Mm. Alright, game this one. Bye.